This is how I know he's part masculine. You know, love because he's the most stubborn. stubborn dog. And when he decides he doesn't want, like, I'm he's on a walk, I'm doing other things, like, nope. And he just spreads out and he can't do anything else. Yes. <laughs> so he's had, at fact, he's had uh, cellmates the entire time he was there. He did go to foster, but he was with for about a month. have masses on his groin area yeah. and his scrotum. Yeah. Um, they, right now they think they're um, skin cancer, but until they go and do neuter surgery, they'll remove those masses as well, and then they'll send them out for the pathology. So at this point, um, it, you know, we don't know. He, he could be fine once it's done, or it could be not. Whatever time it might be. It, it, we don't know yet. So, but he's, he's starting to come out of his All that I knew about him, other than his medical notes, were past volunteers had told me. So he cantures. Like when he doesn't want to go, he just he's done. So I told my volunteers this time, and because they unload right here, I said I want to take him to this courtyard until you know more about him. Forty five minutes later, somebody from Rush comes up and says, um, "So one of these volunteers is stuck with a dog down by our store." I'm like, "What do you mean stuck? Is everything okay?" She's like, "Oh yeah, he just won't get up." I'm like, "Oh, I know who it is." So I take this out. I have never met this. I haven't touched him yet. Haven't seen him. Nothing. I have to go out in front of the Apple Store and wrestle him into a harness so that I can pick him up. This is how we walk from Lush all the way back to the elevator, like this. Oh my God! By the end of the week with him, my back was killing me. My shoulders were sore for three days. Oh yeah, nothing like being reminded how old you're getting. By he's a, a big dog. boy. He's yeah. a big boy. Well, he was 90 pounds then. Now he's only 80. Only. <laughs> um, but he. He has been, yesterday and today have been his best days since we've known him. He's been vibing, he's been smiling. Um, he's anxious when he comes off the elevator, he feelings it right here, like he knows exactly where he's going and he's happy to be here. Of course he is, because he gets treats all day long. Um, but he, I think he, prior to coming here, to be honest, he's even more so than just being a cat. Clearly, at some point, probably I'm thinking as a puppy, they did this to him with his ears because normally when you see that, if they're done when they're older, they, they, they don't have the hair like that. It's, it kind of recovers a little bit more as puppies, so they're fully covered in hair. When you see dogs that have ears like this, it's because they're only like two and a half years old. So that other dogs, other types of dogs, don't have ears that long. So, Yeah, we would love to get him out of the shelter. They'll move him up faster on the restricted list to get everything done. It's not just getting two movies because they have to have a masses for two or longer. Yeah. Um, but him to be able to recover in a home environment would be so much better. And he's just, he's, he's not nearly as sneaky as he used to be. Like, oh my gosh, the first day he was here, like, I'm standing over him outside, like, oh God, you stink, dude, because I came back and I'm like, it just, it was just that foul, stinky, outside yeah. dog. Little musky, little yeah. cavalier. Just, just icky. <laughs> um, and he, it's kind of, everything is kind of on his terms. Like, if he wants to do it, then he's enthusiastic about it. If he doesn't, well, good luck. <laughs> but it's, it's, that's the part of it, I think, that endears him to the most of us. He does him. Yep. He owns it. But he, um, like I said, he's, he's come a long way in pretty short period of time and I'm, I'm really excited to see that he's he's doing better. Hi Wilbur. <laughs> Hi Wilbur. And he will do it. The one thing you can get him to do when he doesn't want to walk is if you've got if you've got treats. Treats. Yep. Have treats for travel. Yes. <laughs> how did you miss that? Yeah, how did you know that? He makes you feel like top liver, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, oh, I, 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 
He could, he could not give a damn about no, me. Really, no, no you're right. but that's okay. I've come to I've 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 set my pride aside <laughs> yeah, and you do you kind of have to check your ego with him. Yeah. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Ryan was here Friday for a while, so he could come in and spend some time with him. And when Ryan left, he stood here for an hour and a half and just stared at the door. He wouldn't go sit with anybody. He was like, nope, I'm waiting for my guy to come back. The room is usually full. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he was he, he was doing great on a walk this morning, and then I noticed he started to, to wince like about <laughs> halfway through the walk. <laughs> That's always when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And you're the furthest point to getting back. Um, we had just gotten to come around the outside of the building, and we still had about half of it to get back, so he, he started to limp. But again, his desire for treats overrode whatever discomfort he was feeling because he just kept going. He's like, oh. You threw another one on the ground? Okay, I'll go to that one. And then the next one. And that's how we got back. Um, but they do have him on... Because um, he's got some muscle head stuff going on. And he's just, like I said, he's kind of a hot mess. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just the cumulative effect of, you know, his entire life of not being well cared for, you know? So right now they have him on, oh, I thought he was supposed to be on something. Um, it was my understanding he was supposed to be on, oh, you know what, I will be calling him actually. He's supposed to be on carpropion to remove his medicaments and they, they didn't add it to his, um, well you poor boy, no wonder you're still feeling some discomfort. I thought he was doing better because he was on the meds, but he's yeah. not, so we'll get him back on that. And like I said, he's been with um, he's been with other dogs that have um, him foster had him. She came back the next day and got his kennel mate. Um, I don't know what she's done with her, but I don't think he ran away. He doesn't. He could have gotten an hour head start if you walked out the door in probably 50 feet. That's right. probably, probably what he would have found. Him. He'd be like, I'm tired. Can you bring me home now? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, I have to do a meet and greet with these oh, folks. But if you do have any other questions, run through this. Let me know, okay? And I'll give you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give you this. So if this takes a minute and you guys leave, um, my contact information. Oh, yeah, you're welcome.